citizens, we are assembled here in the candy foyer for a momentous announcement. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah! Adventure time! I've never worked on Adventure Time, but I assume I'm here because I'm one of the biggest obsessive Adventure Time fans here. Because I am into this stuff! I initially saw Adventure Time as the pilot online. I was amazed with what I saw. I, I felt like the world shifted around me, and it actually completely changed my life from that moment. Yeah, well, get ready, because this biz is going to get redonk. Cool, man. I first saw Adventure Time in my college dorm room. It just, like, blew my mind. I was working at Disney on Phineas and Ferb, and everybody there was sort of watching it and sharing it. I could see how it was on the pulse of something, but it was very different than my sensibilities. And I thought instantly, oh, this is going to be the future of cartoons. You know what that was? That was righteous. Thanks, Jake. So Random Cartoons was a pilot program over at Nickelodeon, and that was actually where the first version of Adventure Time was sort of born. A long time ago, I went boom boom on a leaf. That was basically our first job out of school. Penn pitched the original short while I was still in school, and he brought on some of his classmates to work on it. And that's also where I met him uh, at CalArts. Jake, we're going to college. But it was fun. It was like, this is our first thing. <gasps> I answered the phone, yes. Yes, this is Adventure Time. How may I help you? No, no messages! I joined Adventure Time uh, before it even aired. Rebecca Sugar told me about it, and I did a storyboard test, and I sent it to Penn, and I bugged him, and I asked him a lot of questions, and they really liked a lot of my drawings, and they thought I could be a storyboard revisionist. Not long after I got out of college, I took a storyboard test for Adventure Time. I got the revisionist job, and then they asked if I would be a writer storyboarder. <laughs> I left Disney to come back to Cartoon Network, and I worked on Flapjack, and Penn was a board artist on Flapjack. I was like, oh, it's the guy who made Adventure Time. I don't know what that means, but it sounds very encouraging. See you guys later. Then, a story's gotta have excitement. Romance. Suspense! And it has to have a happy ending. But... I don't know how to make that stuff happen. Fundamentals, rules of storytelling, rules of art, and these things are incredibly important. What's so cool about Adventure Time is that it does those things effortlessly, and it also breaks the rules constantly. Put your pants on. OK. Adventure Time is just so unique. There has really been nothing like it. It's got such a genuine and okay. unique voice. And it had this fresh take on comedy that was like a playful poetry. You're talking to the right couple of guys. Yeah, man. Me and Jake will bust this mega frog up right up his bumble stop. My favorite episode. It's hard. Mm, favorite storyline. That's so hard. Uh... Wow, that's um, that's a hard one too. There's a lot of them. Mm. <laughs> this is like an impossible question. I love all my little babies so much. Holly Jolly Secrets or Son of Rat Bear or Simon and Marcy. Marcy. You're so silly, Simon. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. Or Pooh Hoy, but it's very, very hard to choose between them. This calls for a celebration. I think Manosphere is my favorite because it was the first one. I learned so much. It's the first song I ever wrote, you know, for the show. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da Daddy, why did you eat Punch. my fries? I bought Punch. them. And they were mine. I remember all the versions of it. We were redoing huge parts of it right up until the last week. It was very scary. It'll just always have a really special place and huge importance for me. I'm sorry I ate your fries. I didn't mean to hurt you. It's okay, Dad. It's, it's really okay. No, it's not okay. They weren't even very good. They were really cold. A Hall of Egress definitely is my favorite episode. Egress. Egress. Egress means exit. To me, it's kind of like this, you know, trial of fire of like having to have years and years of, you know, failure. Like you're wandering blindly looking for something that has no name, you know, really can't be found. It has to be, you know, created in a sense. Still though, I'm in the home stretch here. I think I'm most proud of the episodes that seemed like that no other show would really make them like. Hall of Egress is an episode that I, I can't imagine a lot of other shows doing. And we kind of had the latitude to do it, which is amazing to me. 
the Islands miniseries is pretty close to my heart. You know, people have been wondering for a really long time, where are all the other humans? Is it just Susan and Finn? I think we were able to answer those questions in a really satisfying and compelling way. What a wild adventure, yellow stretching dog. You said it, beautiful baby boy. That arc was incredible. It felt almost like you were witnessing like a rom-com combined with Adventure Time and, and the sci-fi element and Lost. It was like all of my favorite things. Jake, I need your help. You gotta call Finn a whiny baby. But butts are for pooping. Do it for Poppy. I'd say my favorite episode was Dad's Dungeon. That was an incredible episode where we get to sort of see a dungeon that Joshua created for Finn to go through. It was just like a very like exciting, awesome dungeon crawler episode that had a lot of cool action in it, a really like fun, emotional ending. It's like one of those Adventure Time episodes that I feel like it's just got it all. I know we can do the most ultimate high five ever. You've gone crazy mad with power lust. And I'm loving it. I've prepared a list of my favorite episodes. These are in chronological order. Um, <clears throat> my two favorite people, the real you, Finn the human slash Jake the dog, all the little people, Simon and Marcy, Puhoy, Bad Timing, Lemon Hope, which is the one episode that's made me cry. Straight up right out the diddle do. Breezy and Flute Spell. These are my top 10 favorite Adventure Time episodes. Whoa! Hope y'all like getting your minds blown, cause it's showtime! Working for Penn and with him is uh, a really unique experience. I've never met anyone like him. He's, he's very funny and, and creative. It's hard to think of Adventure Time and not think of a uh, pen. The real treasure is friendship. I think if I hadn't worked on Adventure Time, I wouldn't have a show now because I learn everything. Working with Adam Mudo was probably the best time in my life. He was so excited about great art. He's such a brilliant artist and writer. Apple pie, I've been waiting to kiss you all day. Mm -hmm. Adventure Time has made me a better artist and it made me a more tired person and gave me more gray hairs, but it was, it was an experience I don't think I would have traded for 10 easier shows. We're kindred artistic souls. Toads. I think it inspired a generation of artists. I'm sure there are so many people that got into animation or drawing or writing because of Adventure Time. I got this kind of almost like ascended fan status where, you know, I was able to be a fan of the show, and even though I never got the opportunity to work on the show, I got to kind of be around it, and that was very inspiring. I need homie help. Hmm. I got a plan, Broham. You're the best, homie. Homies help homies. Ha-ha! <laughs> Working on Adventure Time was very exciting. It was one of the most creative times of my life. I learned a lot, and I made a lot of friends, and I've seen them move throughout the industry and become incredible forces in their own right, and I just had a great time working on Adventure Time. Bye! Bye-bye! Bye-bye now! Goodbye! Bye-bye! Bye! Adventure Time! Oh my gosh, you guys! I just want to thank y'all so much! It means so much to me! <laughs>